In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new face makeup from the drugstore. I have Wet n Wild, Elf, Milani, Maybelline. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So today, I already started doing my makeup earlier with some Physicians Formula. I removed it all and now I'm recording this video here. So if you guys want to see why I removed my makeup because of the Physicians Formula video, I'll link it here on the cards so you guys can go and watch it. So these are the products that I'm going to test out today. I have a Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I have a Maybelline Chic Heat Blush. I have an e.l.f. Foundation. I have Wet n Wild Stick Foundation and I have two e.l.f. concealers. So that's all I'm gonna be trying out. It's all about the coverage. And I have this blush here that I really wanted to try out because I'm on the search for a cream blush. If you guys have any suggestions, please tell me in the comments already so I know which one I should try next. I think I'm gonna start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Yeah, I'm gonna start with that. I have the shade Vanilla Beige and I have the shade Toffee Pecan and the Toffee pecan one I'm gonna use for contour so I have a little bit more color on my face. I know I have other foundations to try but I really want to see which one I like the most so I'm gonna try a little bit like on half of the face and then at the end maybe I blend it in and we'll see what happens. Oh, and this is a really good match for my skin color actually. I'm gonna blend it in. Very nice coverage and I love the finish. It's dewy, but it's not too dewy. And it's like almost matte, but it's not completely matte. So I guess I would say it's a natural finish. And I really enjoy that. Looks really nice, right? I like it. All right, now I'm gonna try the Milani one and I'm gonna go in with the brush like this and apply to my face. It has nice coverage, but a little too light for my face. It doesn't really like to stick to the face as much as the stick foundation. Like it kind of lifts a little bit when I blend, but still it's a lighter coverage than the stick one, but it's not bad. I like the photo focus one better. So I think I'm gonna remove it again and use no, I was going to say I was going to use the elf one. Yes, I am going to do that. Ugh, I'm so crazy. Okay, I like the Wet n Wild stick foundation, the photo focus one better. I think I'm gonna remove everything and try out the elf one and see what happens. All right, so this is the elf foundation. I'm assuming it is a little more matte because it says here oil free. So, and it has SPF 15, natural, previously porcelain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Okay, it has nice creamy consistency and I think it might be a little too light for my skin tone. If it is, I'm gonna end up applying the Wet n Wild one to the whole face. It has nice medium coverage. It's very pretty. It's natural. It doesn't act crazy on the skin. I like it. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild one on top of this just to build a little more coverage and also to warm up the skin tone a little more because the Wet n Wild is a better match to my skin tone. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, this is really nice coverage. I really love it and it looks very flawless without looking heavy and yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the concealer now and I have two e.l.f. concealers to use. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use the hydrating one and on the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the 24, 16 hour camo concealer, not 24, 16. All right, so I'm gonna apply the hydrating camo concealer underneath my eyes. And I'm doing this just because the under eyes are usually a little bit drier and we have to apply powder. So I want something a little more hydrating there. And the other one I'm gonna use on the rest of the face because, you know, 16 hour wear tells me that it's it's probably a little bit more on the drier side, on the matte side. So let me do that. This is a really nice concealer. I like it. It's not super high coverage, but it covers enough and it has a really nice texture. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna go with the other one. And oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. This one is light beige and the one that 
that I'm gonna apply now to the rest of the face is medium peach over the bridge of my nose, a little bit here, around my nose. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit here just because it's a little bit lighter and I wanna lift this area up a little bit because my dark circles are very deep right now. Not my dark circles, my under eyes. This concealer dries way quicker than the other one, the hydrating one, so I gotta apply it a little bit faster, but it's a really nice concealer as well. All right, this was really nice. I love the coverage. I'm gonna do an up close so you can see my skin and it looks really flawless very beautiful and i didn't even apply powder so i want to do this before i go in with the blush because i'm a little scared that the blush is gonna ruin everything so i'm a little skeptical this is the skin without powder <music> Let's go in with the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush, Nude Burn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply to my hand and then go in with the brush just so I can have better control and not ruin my face. I put this much on my hand and I'm blending it in my hand first so I don't apply too much product. Cut that part. I kind of got carried away and I applied a little bit to my face too, but you know what? This is so beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. Seriously. Since I'm doing makeup trial, I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun as a powder just to seal everything in. And I'll be right back. All right, we have great success today. I like this foundation. Light to medium coverage. Nice, nice. I like this. Concealers, very nice. Both of them. The 16 hour one, more coverage. This one, light to medium coverage. Hydrating, yes, but not super crazy dewy. So I like it. This one, very nice too. I like both. And I think I like the 16 hour camel one better just because it's more coverage. Now this, incredible, Mwah. amazing. Love it and I will use it every day. Seriously, this is like a new staple for me. I adore it, amazing. Just like the liquid one that is very good, this is also very, very good. And I actually like this blush. I'll be using it more because it came out very nice and it's a very nice color too. I'll definitely use it more. And if you want a little close up, you can see the skin looks really nice. So anyway, guys, I really enjoyed doing this video because I found new makeup that I love that is from the drugstore and is super affordable. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.